go over the top and push down on them. When you put that solder flux on there and you pull up, some needles will pull up with it because they're very light. Now, like I said, the first time or two when you uh, break in a fresh soldering gun, it's hard to get it going. You've got to get some solder flux on there so the solder will stick to your gun. You don't want to breathe these fumes in either. Not only does it taste bad, but it ain't really good for you either. Now the more flux that gets on this tip from both the needles and from what I put on it, the more solder will stick on it and the less you're going over here and grabbing solder. You don't want a whole bunch on there because if you bounce it or something it's going to come off. But Now, as you notice, I put the solder gun on the top just to help push down any that didn't get pushed down, and then I go down the side. You don't have to hit every side. One side will work because you have your solder flux in there, so it will flow in between each needle. As long as you've got enough solder flux on there. kind of difficult. I'm making it look pretty easy. But next time I show somebody how to make needles here, I'll film them and show you how many they screw up. Um, <laughs> it's quite amusing. Now, these, my outline needles, they still have to be tightened um, to get them into a nice, tight, package. Otherwise, when I start drawing, the tip of some of them would flex and then I wouldn't get a nice solid line. I'd have a bunch of little lines. My 14s, they don't get tightened. Let me take that back. I do make some 14 tights, uh, but those are special needles. Um, wow, the soldering gun isn't good. The motherfucker's handle's hot. I pull them out to where the tip just comes below this white part. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But I put a little bit extra just to that point. I don't want it going all the way down because I do want some flex. But if you have any big balls of solder on there, this is where they'll come off. Like in the first step, sometimes, you know, on the side that you hit it with, you'll get a, a big ball of solder there. This is where you can take it away. Now, I'm not putting solder flux on there because a little bit does flow down into the jig. So there's enough in there that I don't have to put more solder flux on. It wouldn't hurt to put a little drop on each of these, 
But as you hear, it's still sizzling. So that means there's still solder flux there. Now, you'll see from here to here is bare needle. From here to here is solder. Now, when I go put that on a bar, there's more solder on here to catch the bar. Um, if I only had a little dot, <coughs> now I've got to put the two pieces together. And with there being no solder here, it's a little bit harder. That's where, like I said, the, they'll go and they won't be round anymore. That's where that comes into play. Someone has uh, tried calling for you from a private number named Doug. No, Doug. Alright. No, a couple Dougs. Well, yeah, I talked to you. I was like, I'm like, busy right now. I asked calling to the Doug. I was like, I asked what you're calling about. See if it was someone you wanted to talk to. He was like, yeah, talk to Dale. I was like, all right, is there a number I can't reach yet? He was like, yeah. And I started right down. He was like, seven. And then just hung up on me. Yeah, you too, asshole. <sighs> All right. I don't know if you can see this, but see how on the top there's that little lump of solder on there? That's what I was talking about. I go below it to get that part and then when I bring it back now the lump's gone the heat will suck up all the excess but when you're doing it on the block you're bringing it down and then pulling away and sometimes that solder will get caught um, and make a little lump and I also keep a wet towel over here so I can wipe the excess solder flux off um, you don't want a ton of it <laughs> now since I'm getting ready to do some stuff and I'm going to be soldering I wipe it off on the sponge, the wet sponge and you see here's what solder was still left on there. If I left that on there while I was doing more stuff that whole time, it would be sitting there corroding that. Um, so that's why I like to have the ones with the sponge on them. Now, these outline needles still have another step to go. So we'll just put them off to the side for a few. Sevens. Now, when you're learning, expect to get burnt a few times. It's gonna happen. There's no way around it. Well, there is. Don't do it. But, um, <laughs> easier said than done. few in the hole and I move it back and forth until I line them up and get them down inside. I don't know if this is going to let's try another way. And my battery's getting ready to die. Put a couple inside the hole and move it back and forth until or spin until you get them all lined up to where you can drop them.
you don't want to keep scraping it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to have to go get another battery because it's flashing at me. So, be right back.